Good morning, I'm Leslie Haas with What's Matter Micro BT and I'm here with David Pence. And David, I hear you have some really exciting news for us. Man, I'm so excited. It is uh, December, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, thank you. Yeah, I am, uh, I'm pretty pumped up that we just heard from the, um, the What's Minor factory, the manufacturer's called Micro BT as we both know, mm -hmm. and uh, they have released a brand new miner um, the M20S, you know, has been the workhorse of the fleet of uh, what's miners mm -hmm. in 2019. And was the world's fastest miner. That's right. Fastest miner. What's the best miner? Yeah. What's miner? And what was exactly. the miner? The M20S, right? So uh, the M20S has been superseded by a new miner. Uh, I feel like it's one of those shows where, you know, they go to commercial. We don't have commercials here like that, but <laughs> where they go to commercial and go, and which of the three houses are you picking? Cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So but I'll go ahead and tell you, it's the M30S magically. You know, the engineers are very good with their names. So <laughs> meticulous. Uh, meticulous, but the M30S truly is super duper. So, uh, so, so tell us what can we expect out of the M30S? Yeah. What, what are the numbers? Yeah. So, so the old M20S, fastest miner in 2019, which we're still in, mm -hmm. it is uh, 68 terahash per second, and they've actually upgraded the firmware and made it 70 terahash per second with the M20S. So today it's 70 terahash per second. <clears throat> and it runs about 47 or 48 watts per terahash, per terahash. To, to make the terahash happen. So you can do the math, that's how much power the whole unit takes, right? So the M30S has now gone to 88 terahash Per machine mm -hmm. and the machines are actually operating at 38 watts per terahash so that's, that's the new fastest miner in the world and it also has the lowest power consumption per terahash in the world and that's a significant raise in it's a big deal it's about 30 percent it turns out that that new miner is about 30 percent faster than the previous generation miner the m20s and the power draw is about the same and we had an idea that something new was coming. It's kind of like when, whenever an iPhone comes out, you know something's gonna come out in the next year or two, right? So we knew something was going to come, but now do we have any dates on when this will actually start to be shipped? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, we are being told again from the factory that we're, we're gonna get finalized pricing, finalized availability, um, and, and shipping capabilities uh, but here's what we think it is today. So I mean, we just heard this like two, two days ago. Right. And uh, what we think is going to happen is we think that the miner will be priced around $2,350. Okay. Um, which is less expensive than the M20S. Than, than the last one, yeah. So it's it's faster, it takes less energy, and it costs less. It's less, less expensive, it's, it's everything. It's like Apple, are you listening? <laughs> right. Because uh, that's one of the they things you guys miss. They every iPhone. Right, how about a $500 iPhone and then it's a $450 iPhone next year, not the other way around, $1,500 iPhone. Well, people are still buying them, so we need to do something. They, hey, you know, it's a great product, right? They have some of the best stuff in the world, but so do we. So anyway, uh, it is less expensive. It looks like it's gonna be around $2,350. do not hold me to that, it's not finalized yet, but that's what we're being told. Um, and then availability, we're going to be able to start taking orders, it looks like, in a couple weeks. Okay. And it looks like that the first batch will be shipping in February. That's fantastic. So are we taking pre-orders? What, what can, what we can are, someone do? Yeah, we are taking pre-orders. You know, we all know you have that miner at that speed and that capability. Um, the world knows that the having events coming up, they want the maximum speed with the lowest right. power they can get. And this is it. And it's a great price point. So it's going to get snapped up. They're going to be sold out all year. Right. And by going ahead and reserving yours, even though there may be a smidge of a price fluctuation, people can at least make sure that they get some of those early miners. Yeah. I mean, in three weeks, there won't be a price fluctuation. This will be the price. Right. But in four weeks, there won't be any miners for sale because you will have waited. Oh, you went through Christmas. You went through New Year's. I'll just call these guys later on. You can call us, but we can't guarantee a February delivery. You know, the February delivery for batch one is going to be, um, it's going to be gone. It's going to be a limited release. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, I don't know how limited. I mean, they're, they're, they could make a big run or a small run, but you know, it's a new product, so you're probably right. Um, they'll have a small run. Make sure everything's good. Uh, just the thing to remember is this: this time around, here comes this brand new super miner, mm -hmm. and let's say it ships in February, like we're talking about. But oh, guess what? The Bitcoin having effect is going to be in May. It could back up to April. Mm -hmm. So getting your miners 
And getting them set up. Yeah. Batch two, batch three, guess what? P the demand is going to be so crazy because everybody's going to want to get in on these new super miners to replace all their S9s. We estimate that there are about two or three million S9s running still today. That need to be replaced and soon. And if I had 1,000 S9s or 10,000 S9s, guess what I'm going to do? I'm getting the M30S, right? Are you kidding me? So I put it in, I'm good for another three or four or five years, I don't have to worry about it again, just like I did with the S9. Well, David, that's so exciting. Thanks for taking the time to hop over to the studio and let me know what's going on so that we can share with everyone on YouTube. If you like these videos and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have a question for our team or for David, leave it in the comments below and we'll be sure to get it answered. Thanks so much and have a great day.